Hello, 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 hello. It's nice to see you. Today, Today. we're talking about boobs. Press. <laughs> Boobs. It's all about boobs today Little here on our YouTube. Awkward YouTube for me. Why is this awkward? It's not Why does it make I, you feel awkward? I, I'm not awkward. I just don't he's know. He's being how to awkward already. It. We're literally 23 seconds in and he's already awkward. I've been running this through my head for the last like day trying to think like, how am I going to contribute to this YouTube? Like, I don't even know her when she had her <laughs> bigger boobs. Anyway, I am actually pretty surprised because we were not ever planning on doing this video. I was never even really planning on talking about this Just on my social media. Well, yeah, everyone wants to forget about it, especially when your boobs are that big. But... I just had an overwhelming response on every question I've done about it and just seriously hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of questions. So I'm gonna dive in. I'm gonna answer all the questions. Not all of them. Holy cow, not all of them. I'm just gonna answer most of them or the ones that were asked most frequently. Yep, I'm gonna answer them all. Let's see how awkward we can make Derek in this YouTube video. That's the goal for this one. Here we go. I'm excited. This is how we are setting up for our YouTube video. Yep. You just take a piece from the couch. Mm -hmm. The sun is shining in. You have the lighting. We have our audience. <laughs> this is so we feel like we're talking to people. Oh, these guys want to talk about boobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. So do I. No, you don't. I can't wait to talk about boobs today. You're scaring me. Wee. Come on, stay. They want to see you too. Serious? Plus, this is probably important information for you to know. It's true. I feel like we've never really talked about it. <laughs> nope, we, we don't really talk about it. <laughs> All right, I'm down to learn okay, what here we you go. have to go through. So we are just going to go off of the questions that you guys asked and oh my gosh, we're getting blinded. <laughs> Son. <laughs> we're literally inside getting blinded. What the f How do we? There's... Whatever. Oh, 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 wait. Can you fix this? There's... How do those work? Good thing there. So lower. Perfect. Right there? Look at that. All better. All better. Okay. Back story. You guys ready? Yes. Once upon a time, there was this girl. And she was in seventh grade. And she had A cup boobs. Just like any normal 12 year old does, right? Yes. She's going into seventh grade. Junior high is a scary place. She didn't know how scary it could get until. Literally one year later, in eighth grade, she had triple D's. A cup to triple D means what? Like A is the smallest? A is the smallest. So it's A, A. B, C, D, double D, triple D, E. And you had triple D? I had triple D's, guys. So in the course of one year, my boobs went from A to triple D. And I know you guys are thinking, well, what the heck happened? I don't know. And guess what? I thought they were never going to stop growing. It was terrifying. 12 year old, A cup, 13 year old, triple D. And I did not know what was happening. And I would literally cry to my mom and say, I think they're never gonna stop growing. And my body didn't change. Like my body was the same. I just had these massive boobs. Pretty terrifying being a 13 year old. So I just felt really out of place, really weird. <laughs> kind of like me right now. Then I got into high school. I was a tennis player my entire life and obviously tennis was <laughs> very hard with the boobs flopping around. That would be hard. No, I used to wear like three sports bras that were like smashing them just to have like enough support to hold them up because real boobs are not like fake boobs. Real boobs are very heavy very saggy, just not fun. And fake boobs are perky and light and oh, they're really fun. People didn't get it, so they're really heavy. I don't get it. So to play a sport that involves so much like upper body, my back was just a wreck. Like yeah. I was having so many back issues. I was just in pain all the time. I just couldn't with the boobs. And especially like even just normal things, apart from sports, just going to parties. I couldn't really wear swimsuits because my boobs were just hanging out everywhere and nothing fit me because I was like a small or an extra small like in my waist area and then just <laughs> <laughs> talking to people from my high school 
would say that they didn't really know how big my boobs actually were because I never wore like tight fitting clothes. But when I did, people were like, whoa. <laughs> um, so then I got into high school and I had kept telling my mom, hey, we need to do something about this. I think that was my dad. Hello? This is not good to talk about the, the dad. <laughs> So in high school, I just kept going to my mom and I kept saying, mom, my boobs are way too big. I really, really, really just want to get a reduction, please. And she didn't really believe me. She was just like, your boobs are fine. They're not that big. And I was like, mom, they are. When you have to wear three bras just to support them. And one day I was like, you know what? I just took off all my clothes and I was naked and I walked right into my mom's room and I was like, I need a reduction. The look on her face was like this, like, <laughs> She's like, yeah, we can call and get you an appointment when you graduate. And I was like, okay. Hey, that's why. Oh I just gosh. walked into my mom's room naked. I didn't have a top on. And I was like, you don't believe me? I'm going to show you. But I decided to get one after I graduated. It was kind of a good transitioning phase. It was perfect for me because I was going to play college tennis. And let's just say I was a lot faster. <laughs> How much weight was that? So they took out almost three pounds in each boot. Oh my gosh. Three pounds of fat. Anyway, that's the story. Got it done. So now we can answer your questions. All of them? All 850 of them. I need a yeah. drink. <laughs> I'm going to go by what I saw <clears throat> were the most asked questions. So, or I'll just start at the top because that's hard. <laughs> A lot of people asked, how did it affect my breastfeeding? Okay, so I'm not a doctor, but my experience when I went in to see my doctor, I was concerned about that. So I asked him, hey, like, will I still be able to breastfeed? Because, you know, I want to breastfeed. He reassured me that majority of patients have no issues breastfeeding after getting a reduction. However, there are some that it affects. Obviously, I think it depends on how much you're taking out you know, because you're still removing stuff. But for me, I actually wasn't able to breastfeed. We tried everything, literally everything we could for weeks yeah. when Jack was first born. And I just never got enough milk in. If you haven't seen that YouTube, by the way, go back and yeah, watch it. Yeah, you can it go back and watch. our first few weeks with Jack. It was kind of a struggle. Here's the thing though, is like my mom couldn't breastfeed. Like she didn't get enough milk either. So there could have been a very good chance that I just couldn't have done it even if I didn't get the reduction. If I were you and you were wondering about that, I would just get a consultation and ask him. Lots of patients don't have any issue. My story is a little different, but it could have been lots of reasons for me. I couldn't breastfeed. Um, Can I read the questions? <laughs> I just want to talk. <laughs> Which one am I doing? Whatever you want. What about the scars? Mm, good question. Okay. Yes, I do have scars. Um, I think anybody that gets it done, you're gonna have scars, but the way they do it is they cut, at least my doctor cut around the areola part and then down and then underneath the breast. So it never shows like when I wear a bikini or anything, no one can ever see. Just underneath and it. they have, yeah. And they've faded a ton. It hasn't bothered Derek. It, they don't bother me. I don't even think about I... it. We'll be honest, I never notice. These two are kind of hand in hand. <clears throat> How do you feel right after the surgery? Does it hurt? How long does it hurt for? Okay, so, he, it. I remember you said it destroyed you. <laughs> yeah, it actually, it is, it's pretty painful, <laughs> honestly. But here's the thing, it's very painful, but it's temporary and with all the pain, I would do it over and over and over again because it's the best thing I've ever done. Honestly, like it hurt, I think most for like four or five days and then it just slowly gets better and better. I also would recommend to stay completely on top of the medication that they give you because I would wait until it like ran out and then I'd say, okay, I need more medication. And that's when I would just like cry and break down and yeah. be in so much pain. It's a, good it's thing a big surgery. It's a good thing but. your boyfriend was there. It wasn't me. Someone else got to help her through this process back then. Rats. I'm out sweating. Of, out of the very good. Okay. How much? So that also depends on 
your doctor, who you get, where you go to. Um, insurance, it doesn't cover it because it's not a medical, unless you have some sort of proof that your boobs have hurt you in some way or it's a medical issue, then your insurance would help cover it. But if not, then it doesn't cover it. How much, do you remember how much it costed? I, I'm costed. Is that a word? Is that free? Why do I always say I wrong remember, words on YouTube? I remember costed. it cost around, I want to say like 7000 Again, I say this, it's like the best thing in the and entire I'm, world. And every single person, it's not just me saying this, every single person I've talked to that has had a breast reduction, like me, they say, oh, best thing I've ever done. I think it would be best to consult with your doctor and mm -hmm. talk to them, do some research on what yeah. it might cost. Insurance yeah. maybe could help, but... Because again, like we're not doctors, we're not yeah. insurance finance people. I graduated just, in finance. Oh, Thank sorry. you. Sorry about that. <laughs> I know you did. I grad Come on. I, I need one done, especially after the baby. Do you recommend getting it done now or after kids? I mean, that's all personal preference. And I think mostly people ask that because they're wondering how the size changes when you have kids. When Jack was born, my boobs tried to get milk, so they were big for a while and they were hard, and then just nothing was coming yeah. out. And then they went back to the size that they were. Yeah. So if that helps answer your question, I think if you're worried about breastfeeding, maybe you can wait till you're done. Yeah, maybe it's good because then you'll be completely done. The boobs will stay the exact same. Like there's no having kids getting bigger, yeah. getting smaller. I mean, cause I've heard that if you do breastfeed, they get bigger and then they deflate. Yeah. Kind of like balloons. <laughs> Someone said, did Derek care? He did not care at all. We weren't dating at the time when she got it, so I met her. Don't ask me about my but boyfriend. But based on like what she's talked about and seeing her boobs now, like I think she looks amazing. I really hope her parents don't listen. <laughs> oh, well. just, I don't care. Um, I, but no, he doesn't care at all. From I the wouldn't day care I told if, him. She, if she had her old boobs, to be honest, I wouldn't care. Like, he, he was very shocked when I showed him before and after, so yeah. well, we have a TikTok about that. Were you scared your breasts were going to come back bigger after Jack? Holy cow, yes. I had nightmares about them getting bigger, and then after I had him, when they started getting bigger, just because they were trying to fill up with milk, I was like, no, <laughs> thinking they were never going to stop growing again, but they did. They went back to their regular size, so we're all good. You have to have implants placed. Nope. Did you have, oh, no nope. implants? They just take out your boobs and then obviously they, they're they higher up now. But they're all my boobs, they're all my skin. <laughs> no, no implants. What was your reason for getting one? I really want one, but wonder if I should wait. Yeah, guys, it's just back pain, nothing fits. Mostly the pain, you just feel not confident. They looked disproportionate to my body. It was interesting though, like when I saw people from high school, like I remember going to hang out with friends after um, and no one really knew I had it done and they, really no one knew and I showed up to a party and everyone was like, did you lose like 25 pounds? I never, I never experienced one ounce of regret of doing it and I'm being 100% honest. I was so happy when I got it done and I could clothes fit me and I could look cute and it matched my body size and it, look it was good, just, play good. Should we talk a little more about recovery? Yeah. So, so you're definitely gonna need help after recovery. Like while you, when you're recovering, you're gonna need help. Um, I had my mom helping me as well as- My boyfriend. Family members. My boyfriend. Friends. And better boys. Boy. <laughs> so. Yes, get yes, yourself you're gonna need a support help team. Because you have to like, People have to like bring you your food. Like you just have to kind of lay there in one position for a while and then you need, I remember needed help. I need the Smash, blah, 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 blah. I remember needing help like going to the bathroom, getting places, just like any movement was pretty painful. Couple questions now on people judging you for it. Did anyone judge you for getting breast reductions? No. What was like? No. no, and if anybody judges you, bye-bye. Yeah, because that's... they don't know what it's like to have giant boobs. No, no, I didn't receive any negative feedback at all. I think 
people I went to high school with were like, whoa, but I think it was all good woes. <laughs> this person said, no question, but it's inspiring that you are willing to talk openly about it to help other people. Good job. <laughs> Ducks. Thanks, guys. I wish I had someone to ask questions to. I think that's the biggest reason why I was like, we should totally do this. It's really nice to like talk to somebody or hear how it was from someone that's actually done it. Yeah. So thank you. <laughs> that's really nice. <gasps> oh. Oh. Uh oh, he got the hair. Oh, he got the hair. Is he allowed to be in this for this discussion? Thank you. Do you want to say hi? No. Come on, say hi. Come say hi. Say hi. This say is my hi. pretty mama. Say hi. Come on. I've been on baby duty all day. I, you look amazing. Oh. Come on. Say I'll just hi. say hi. Hello, hi. everybody. <laughs> this is my mama. Um, were you afraid? Mom, was I afraid? You could answer. I don't really remember. Was I scared? No. I think I was more like no. nervous, antsy, right? You wanted it done so bad that any fear was like there was no fear. That's true. Oh. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I wasn't scared. I was just like, like chop them off. Just do it. I, but I think I was you, just a little antsy. I just wanted them gone. Because you dealt with it for a long time. I think it was like Christmas morning. <laughs> she could probably answer more of these probably questions better more. because she was coherent during recovery. <laughs> We're gonna bring her in for a second. Great. <laughs> Okay, I've been on baby duty for the last four hours, so <laughs> she looks amazing. This was my caretaker. Derek yes. keeps saying my boyfriend took care of me, <laughs> which is awesome to talk about in this video. The boyfriend was around, but he was not the caretaker. Not the caretaker. She this did was. It. She did it. So tell him what it was like. Um, the first 24 hours were rough. We kind of let the pain get a little too painful, so it was trying to get back on top of just the not medication. taking pain meds. Yeah, that's and stuff. what I told her. No, she was definitely taking pain meds. I was taking them, but I would wait too long to take oh. the next one, and so I'd be like crying and screaming. I remember being so in pain. There wasn't screaming, but yeah, there was Scream. just. <laughs> Sarah's so dramatic. <laughs> yeah, you're like, not it screaming. It was terrible. We didn't. No, there was no screaming involved. I, I did have to like help me to the bathroom and. Yes, and then changing yeah, the change. bandages. Mm -hmm. Other most painful part was the ripping off the tape that were on the stitches. That was not fun. She helped me with that in the bathroom. So probably really important that you have at least one person. With at you least all one day. person oh, taking care. Sure. You'll need that. There's an antibiotic. There's there were a couple of different pain uh, med medications. I think you got a little nauseated yeah. at what point. So, yeah, so we had to add that. Um, so no, someone needs to be in charge of all of those things. Yeah. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye bye. Thanks. Our featured guest. Our She's featured gonna baby. take the crying baby okay. out. Here we go. Go you grandma. Don't want to grandma. Yeah. Okay, so this is a good one. It says, "Do you recommend getting a reduction just for looks and not for pain purposes?" I had both. So like I said, I had both pain, and I hated the way they looked. But yes, I, I feel like would one or the other fully, is worth it. Yeah, either one, it's totally worth it. If I didn't, if I didn't have pain and it was just for looks, I would still one hundred thousand percent do it. I fully feel like my quality of as dumb as this sounds, I feel like my quality of life increased so much. I feel like I was more confident. I wanted to like go out and be with people more. I wasn't worried about what people were thinking about me, like if they were looking at my boobs or like thinking, oh, she has huge boobs or like, I just wasn't worried about it anymore. And so for me, if you just want to get it done just for looks, do it. If you have big boobs and aren't looking into this because you love how they look, that's, that's great too. Awesome. Yeah. If for me, I just hated it. Personal but preference. For there sure. are lots, I mean, obviously there's a <laughs> huge amount of people that get implants because they want Big boobs. I'm surprised there's zero questions for me. This is <laughs> poor Derek. freaking. Oh, I'm poor offended. Derek. So say there's like 50 people that are actually considering this on here, that are just waiting for you to give your final opinion on like if or if not they should do it. What do you say? I would say 1,000% worth the money, worth the pain worth everything. I would never ever not do it. <laughs> like That's how I feel. Maybe other people feel differently. Maybe other people miss their boobs. You kind of have to judge like how bad you really like want this for yourself. Well, you've convinced me to get a breast reduction. So I'm getting one. Okay. I hope you guys <laughs> learned something today. Enjoyed I learned the so video. Many Derek learned a lot today. 
so. And we never have to do a video like this again? Never again. He needs know, a gold star. I get a gold star for this. Mm -hmm. Please comment gold star for Derek. Gold star for Derek. In the comment section. And I personally will respond to you. If I didn't answer something, please leave a comment. We'll answer it. We love you guys. Thanks for being so Happy interested. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's 2021. Oh my God. Hopefully it's an amazing year for all of you. Thanks for watching us. And don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss our future videos. We love you. Love you. Love you. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> I knocked it over. I knocked it over. That didn't work. <laughs> didn't work this time. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> I can teach you, but I have to talk now. No Oh, yes. <laughs> if you also didn't notice, Sarah did something new. Um, I think she looks freaking good. She got her hair done. I got my hair a little lighter. From got, a, it got a little dark after I had Jack. But yeah. my mom did it with Walmart box colors. I think it looks really, really, really good. Yay. So if you want to get your hair done, just go to Walmart. Go to Walmart.